Hello friends, I'm Saranj Kubrakre and today I'm going to show you how to share files between two laptops mainly between Windows 7 PC or Windows 8 PC ok so today I'm going to show you how to share files between two laptops with the help of Wi-Fi or LAN LAN means uh, Ethernet so ok these are the steps we have to follow now you for sharing with the help of Wi-Fi you need to have, have same Wi-Fi network with Wi-Fi enabled modem and uh, we will discuss for the LAN network later on first thing uh, you should have your firewall off for this you have to click here open networks sharing networks and here windows firewall and, uh, this must be off, this must be off, this must be off. Turn windows turn on. Everything will be turned off. Okay. Next step. Same workbook. Your computer and the connected computer, both computer must be needed in the same workbook. For that, right click on the my uh, this PC properties. Here is showing the workgroup name. So both the computer should have the same workgroup name. You can change that. I will uh, click on change setting and then change here. So from here you can say uh, change the workgroup name. Next thing. You, you should have a join workgroup this is the optional condition but uh, you need to have in some cases join workgroup how to have a how to join workgroup right click on that open network and sharing and here you will get the option of home group click on the home group uh, I, am, I have already the home group I will just click the home group Okay. Now I am having option of create home group. So by enabling a home group, both the computers should have uh, same uh, home group settings. Here is showing the password noted down somewhere. I will just change the password in the next process right here. Change the password and change it to welcome home next now the home group settings have the welcome home password finish and on the other computer you have to join the home group and with the same password ok and both the computers should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network next thing is advanced sharing settings right click on again on that option open network and sharing settings advanced sharing settings and now here first of all the private settings this is turned on file sharing turned on allow user to manage and for the guest setting network discovery turned on file sharing turned on and for all networks first option is turned on choose media option this must be allowed to have everyone all networks here it is Cancel. turn on turn on home group connections allow, user, allow users to manage connection ok here one thing is important you will go into your description you must have my advice is uh, password protected sharing uh, however you can have turned off but I must suggest that you should have a password protector and for the password you should have a user account in your computer and password for that account if you don't have a user uh, password in your computer then you should use turn off but I would suggest you should have a password protection sharing ok and the next thing is advanced sharing setting share sharing how to share hardware partition for that go to the my computer 
let assume I have to share this drive right click on, right -click on that share with advanced sharing setting click on the advanced sharing settings uh, select the folders and then on permissions permission should have everyone and full control HHS all tick must be there ok if on permission there is not everyone then just simply add add and then click on the location sorry click on the advanced then find now and then search uh, everyone and then click ok now if everyone is selected then ok then uh, tick on all the three options and then ok So this is how this drive is totally shared for the users to have access on the network. Okay. So just you are good to go now. On the other side, the sh uh, on the uh, next door, you have just uh, connected your uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, you need to open networks. and uh, likewise my pc's name is showing other pc name will be showed up as i have not connected other pc but uh, if you are connecting other pc name will be showed, showed up and the drive you have just shared uh, in by on clicking on the other pc's option you will be uh, other uh, shared uh, shared drive will be visible on that uh, pc so this is how you can share the files in via wi-fi network and for sharing with uh, the LAN network you must have a connecting cable which is uh, cat5 or cat6 rj45 normally everyone has a 1 meter or 2 meter rj45 cat, uh, cat5 cable which gives a 11 and 12 mbps speed but cat6 can give up to 1 gb 1 gbps uh, normally transfer rate up to 80 90 mbps so how should we connect how should how we should connect with the help of rg45 so if you are uh, now before we are having connection uh, connection with the wi-fi then this is the wi-fi option now let me just uh, connect the rg45 now the option will be changed like this and in windows 8 this option will be up here this is the connected or uh, connected state so for this uh, LAN network both the computers should have the unique IP address and how to get a unique IP address just uh, click on this and open network and sharing center click on change adapter setting both the computers should have the unique IP address with the local area network in Windows 7 uh, there is a uh, uh, here here, uh, here one option will be appear local LAN network right click on that and windows 8 ethernet is available right click on that properties and then internet protocol version 4 and here uh, choose the suitable IP address you need to do 192.168.0.1 and by clicking on that the subnet mask will automatically be gained and ok so this is how then again ok IP address can be uniquely set for the both computers both computers should have a unique IP address it means uh, one computer should have 192.168.0.1 and another computer should have 192.168.0.2 so both computers have the uh, unique IP address and different IP address now if you want to uh, check the computer are connected via line ethernet network just uh, press the windows button and R run dialog box will be appear then cmd enter command prompt will be connected now if you want if you want to check the other computer is connected or not just type ping pin then the ip of one other computers zero one likewise my computer is connected on the network so i am getting the reply if you want to check the ip of another other computer just type the ping 
and IP of other computer, you will get the reply. If both the computer are getting reply, it means that both the computer are connected to the same network. So this is how the both computer are connected to the same network. And ap apart from that, same settings, likewise the Wi-Fi network, same work group, join home group, advanced sharing setting and share hardware partition, you're good to go. So thank you.